Off the coast of the Bahamas lies an ancient stone formation submerged beneath crystal blue waters. The mysterious pathway is lined with fallen ruins and statues, making many people wonder if it's the remnants of the mythical lost land of Atlantis. Welcome to the Paranormal Post. I'm Clayton Morris. If you love true stories of the unexplained, then go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps. And also subscribe to the channel. And there's one more step you can do. That's to turn on the bell notification so you'll receive a notification when we publish a brand new video. So as the story goes, after losing a battle, the Atlanteans fell out of favor with the gods and sunk into the sea to be lost forever. After hundreds of years, the story of Atlantis has captured our attention. The famed lost city makes its first appearance in the works of Plato as the defeated opposition to the Athenians. But this is mythology. But is there any truth to this story at all? Could the answers lie in the waters of the Bahamas? At the end of this video, you should have your own judgment about it. Just a stone's throw from Miami, Florida lies the Bimini Islands. And on those islands sits large ancient stone formations submerged beneath crystal waters. Researchers, geologists, archaeologists, and scientists alike have visited and studied the huge flat stones off of the coast of Bimini, known as the Bimini Road. They've tried to for years to figure out whether these limestone blocks are a natural phenomenon or evidence of an ancient lost civilization. Now Bimini is an island in the Bahamas, part of a chain of islands 50 miles east of Miami, Florida. A mere 20 feet down in the blue waters off the coast, a stone path can be found. Large, flat rocks cut at right angles, seemingly set there on purpose in straight lines. This impressive formation stretches a half mile long with a pronounced hook at one end. And the stone can measure up to 13 feet across. According to Unsolved Mysteries in the World, the origin and meaning of Bimini are unknown. However, the name appears in the ancient Egyptian language and Bamimini, which means homage, any, to the soul, Ba, of Min, M-I-N. And M-I-N, Min, was the Egyptians' divine protector of travelers on far-off journeys. A particularly appropriate god to be worshipped at a distant Bimini, and if needed, the islands had been visited by voyagers from the Nile Valley. Now, in 1968, subsea archaeologist Joseph Mason Valentine and his diving party encountered the paved road, now called the Bimini Road or the Bimini Wall. Now, after their initial discovery, the site was visited often by innumerable divers, researchers, and scientists. A number of people came to this site, further revealing the existence of two additional linear features laying nearly parallel to the enigmatic path an entirely new road. This is where things get even more strange, because as Unexplained Mysteries writes, there could be a connection between this discovery and American mysticist Edgar Cayce. Now, if you don't know much about Edgar Cayce, buckle your seat pelts. Cayce was said to predict future events during trances. Another curious element of this mystery is a prediction that Cayce made in 1938. I'm quoting now from exactly his prophecy, quote, a portion of the temples may yet be discovered under the slime of ages and seawater near Bimini, expected in 68 or 69, not so far away. End quote. Well, guess what? The Bimini Road was discovered in 1968. Some propose as a fulfillment of that prediction that the history of Atlantis would also be revealed to the world. Ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician Plato was first to write of Atlantis. His records of a cursed island out of favor with the gods is referred to as a parable, a warning that hubris and the abuse of power may be the undoing of a civilization. But what if the story is more than a teaching tool? What if there truly existed an advanced ancient civilization which was lost to the seas and wiped from our history? You know, since Plato's tale of Atlantis, many have searched for the doomed city's whereabouts. Existence of a buried Atlantis is possible and some would insist likely, as throughout history, people and civilizations around the world have suffered terrible cataclysms of tsunamis, volcanic explosions, earthquakes, and other disasters. 
and they've disappeared from the pages of history until they've been rediscovered centuries later. Just look at Pompeii as an example, buried under volcanic ash, with people burned in place as they tried to escape the volcano. Could Atlantis have suffered a similar fate? Skeptics think not, as often skeptics do. And they dismiss the connection between the Bimini Road and Atlantis. Now, consensus among conventional geologists who've drilled core samples of the Bimini rocks is that it's a natural phenomenon. They explain that the beach rock has been weathered by erosion, that the tides scouring and eroding lines and edges into the limestone along natural joints, as it does in other locations around the globe. Further, they suggest that any tool marks found on the site are not evidence of ancient stoneworking, but instead the result of tourists and investigators chipping away at the rocks for souvenirs or research. So these perfectly straight line rocks are natural? Not all have been satisfied with mainstream theories, and expeditions have been mounted to try to solve the riddle of the Bimini Road. Sci-Fi Channel did an investigation, spent a boatload of money on a documentary on the underwater formation in 2006. Wikipedia notes that the quest for Atlantis, startling new secrets, focused on the legend of Atlantis highlighting the Bimini Road. And a team of researchers dived at Bimini Bay and reported discovering an entire second layer of square cut rocks with similar dimensions beneath the stones. Are these natural too? With so many differing points of view and a myriad of conflicting evidence surrounding this intriguing underwater mystery, it's hard to say which is right and which is wrong. Will we ever know if Plato's words were work of fiction or first written record of Atlantis after being passed down orally for three generations? Is the Bimini Road truly a path to the lost city? Is it even a road at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you'll never miss one of our videos. And share it with someone who might be interested in mythology and history, like my 11-year-old son loves mythology. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this the road that would lead us to the lost city of Atlantis? We'll see you next time, everyone.